Um, obviously, I want to start asking you about winning a minor league pitcher of the year for the Royals organization. What's that? What's that mean to you? Uh, it means uh, means a lot. Honestly, um, it's a huge award. Um, obviously, you have your your end of the year awards, you know, during the year for future night. But to win it overall in the entire organization is it's, it's truly an honor. Um, you know, for you, I, I know that you know awards don't equal like future success or anything like that but you can take that right that 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 motivates you even further to get where you want to go doesn't it absolutely i think it does i think i think uh the year before is pitch of the year and then this year's pitch of the year it just motivates me to continue to to you know do well and do well and and obviously i'm not going to stop until i get to where you know my goal where i want to be and that's you know 10 15 career in a big league retired and, and living a good life so you know that's i'm, I'm looking forward to continue to, to do well and and help my team as much as I can any way possible. So. Every year you're in big league camp, how does it change for you as far as comfort level goes or um, you know, just seeing some yeah. of those same big league hitters? How, you know, how does that change for um, you? I think, obviously, uh, the first year you're obviously nervous. You know, you got butterflies. You don't know what to do. You don't want to step on anybody's toes. Second year you're kind of you're kind of comfortable. Right? You're not too comfortable, but you're comfortable in a way to where you know everybody now. You know you, you know how everything goes. You know where everything is. Um, you kind of start to settle in. I think third and fourth time around, you're getting your feet wet. You're, you know, you're, you're in there. You know, you know what you're supposed to do. You know what you got to do every single day. What time? When to be? Where I place to be? Uh, but I think this will be my second year um, big league camp. I think it's a, it's a great honor, and I think it's, it's, a, it's a huge thing as far as seeing competition every single year that gets better and better, and guys that move up with you as well. Ned talks about you know his his continued use of the bullpen and trying to think about it more as high leverage guys versus just like year seventh, year eighth, year ninth. <laughs> How do you know in yourself if you're a high, you know, like in those moments, you know, how do you handle, you know, emotionally high leverage? Like if you're having to come in and the bases are loaded for somebody else or if you get a couple of guys on, you know, how do you feel like you handle those situations just, you know, because high leverage is what people look at a lot in baseball. Now. Right. Um, I would say <laughs> it's going to sound funny, but I feel honestly I do a lot better um, with guys on base than coming in the cleaning. I just feel more comfortable knowing I have a responsibility. Obviously, you have responsibility out there if no one's out there, but I feel I take more pride in it, a lot more pride in trying to get guys out without anybody scoring and leaving people there. It's more of like a, a, a more difficult challenge, you know? So, I mean, I take a lot of pride in it, and I think it's – I think there's there's times that you come in and it's a, you know, it's a blowout game or got guys on, you just got to get people in. And there's times you come in where there's a tight game and you got to get three outs and not let anybody score. So, I mean, it's, it's you got to do your job the way – is if nobody was on there, you know, it's the same same routine. You might have people on base, you can't, you know, make a mistake, but you don't want to think that way. Just do your job. When you're, um, like, especially in those those leverage spots, when you know Ned said, like, sometimes the routine can be broken up. Like, if you know you're the ninth inning guy, and it's a close game, it gets to be about the seventh. You're like, well, I'm going in in a couple of innings. I can kind of start getting up and right. moving. Like, if you don't know when you're going, is that harder for you? Like, if um, it could be the fifth or the sixth I, or the ninth. I, exactly. Or? So I, I've come in through the year. I've come in. Right after the pitcher, so it could have been four, fifth, six, seven. I've come in any inning you could think of besides the first through third, okay? Um, so, you know, you got to stay ready regardless. Regardless what your inning is, whatever your role is, you know, you can be the close, you can be the setup guy. doesn't matter. you got to be ready regardless and have your mindset always in case something hits the fan or something happens. You always have to be ready to go. doesn't matter. Appreciate it. Thanks no a lot. Thank Congrats you. again.